She's a country girl out of this world, and that's a fact. Hey, everybody. This is Patty Chanel here from StampPatties.com. I want to thank you first for uh, observing my video. And uh, I don't edit, so what you see is what you get. Today's episode is entitled, Don't Judge a Stamp Set by Its Cover. And I'm focusing on the Eastern Beauty stamp set. I have to say, um, I don't know if you're anything like me, but when I first saw this, I looked at it and I was like, hmm... I am a math person, so I do like geometry, so I was a little bit intrigued by some of the shapes, but I have to be honest, I wasn't really turned on by the stamp set itself until I had a chance to start playing with it. I do like the fact that these are kind of curved and they do nestle nicely along the side of the circle, which is what led me to my first project. And then I decided to experiment a little bit, and uh, if you are around the same age as me, which I'm not going to tell you what that is, um, we had a toy back when that was called the Spirograph. And what I did was I tried to reproduce. I used this image here from the stamp set. I inked it up and I stamped one time within each of these circles. Used some other pieces of the set. Remember I was saying that that font curved kind of nicely. So I used that there. Uh, I've used three of our new in colors on this project as well. Our lemon lime twist, our tranquil tide and our fresh fig. I then decided to get a little bit braver and uh, to stamp these uh, images not just once, but then turned it halfway and did it a second time. So it gave me, you know, double the image. Same layout, just double the image. And then I decided to get really brave and said, what would happen if I did it three times? So I did once, I turned it slightly for the second time turned it a little bit more for the third time. Again, I still use the three colors. So let me show you all three of those together so that you can see the difference. Oops. Okay. So, one time, two times, three times. So I have to tell you, it wasn't the stamp set that did it for me. It was the framelits that come along with this stamp set that did it for me. So let's see if I can get the camera turned so that you can see something that I have created for you. Um, I'm gonna, I have also taken some photographs of this, so they will appear on my website as well. So what I did here up at the top was I laid the framelits out. Not all of them, there are still several more pieces, but these are my favorite pieces. So I labeled them A, B, C, all the way to J. And then what I did was I cut out a series of images that I wanted to share with you. Oops, so if you look at this first one, this is simply the letter A framelit, which is this one here, cut out by itself. I got a little braver as things went on. Um, this one here was the letter C all by itself, which is kind of like that sunflower. And if you've been searching Pinterest and areas like that, I'm sure you've seen people building sunflowers with these framelits. They're absolutely adorable and pretty easy to do. The letter J is also a single framelit. So it's this one here. What you may not realize is that there's a little bit of a groove in there and that allows you to bend the petals up to give you some dimension on your project. So from there is where things kind of got, I got a little bit, um, I don't want to say silly, but I got a little bit more creative. So this outline here is the letter F. I'm sorry, is the letter, yeah, the letter F. And then I put inside of it the letter J. So this piece can then get adhered to your project. You can put a greeting in the center. You could put another circle in the center. Um, let's go down to this one here. This was the letter, whoops, no wonder this doesn't fit. I lied. Yeah, it's F and J. That goes there. And then this one is F and I. And these petals fold up the same as like on the J. They don't actually come out, but they allow you to get some dimension to get more of a tropical kind of flower there. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Down here, these are my favorites, and the combinations are endless because you have this A that I started with, the big one, but then you have the letter B, and you have the letter E, and then you have the smaller ones. So in here, I added a third one. So I actually used three framelits in one, the letter A, the E, and the H. This one here is the A and the B. This is the A and the E. So your combinations are pretty endless. So. Let me show you a couple of finished projects before we conclude today. So let's put the camera back up. Okay, here I am. Okay, 
So I am having an Eastern uh, Palace Suite class in um, another week or two, and these are the projects that my group is going to make. So let's start with this one here. Um, this uses some of the designer paper that is part of the bundle, and I have used my letter C here, and then I also use the letter E on the inside. I did a one and a quarter inch circle here to add the greeting from the stamp set. Uh, their greeting hello is part of this stamp set. So everything that's on here is part of the suite. These are some of the beautiful foil um, stickers and the tassel that is absolutely adorable as well. So that's project one. Project two um, is a case, and I apologize because I don't know whose it was, but the outside is the letter A, but instead of leaving the A inside the circle, I snipped it out. So that gives you yet another look. Then I have my letter J on top of that and a one and a quarter inch circle, a couple of the decals and some paper from the designer paper stack, and again, the greeting is from the stamp set. Project three uses that letter A again, except that I did not snip it out. I left it and cut a square around it, put some gold foil behind it and one of the gold foil uh, stickers. And again, the greeting, another sticker here and paper from the designer paper stack that comes with a designer paper um, package that comes as part of the suite. This one here kind of focuses mostly on the decal as being the focal point. This is a large decal um, with the same shapes and the same foiling. And then I used our stitch framelits, which will become available to you on June 1st, new product. The saying is from the stamp set, uh, another one of the foil stickers here, and then some more paper from the designer paper um, package that comes with the suite. And then for the final project, I uh, chose the letter... What is this? I'm thinking this is the letter A and E, but it's snipped in a different fashion. Behind it is one of the gold foil um, doilies. The greeting is from the set. The designer paper is from the uh, package that uh, you can get part of the suite. And then another one of the decals there. So I am hoping that in this, you know, four or five minute video, I have inspired you to not judge a stamp set by its cover because the beauty that lies within and within your imagination is endless. So if you're looking to get this product suite, visit my 24 seven online store, www.stamphotties.com. Love to be your demonstrator of choice. Have a great day and thanks for tuning in.